Now in the third section, let's talk about the condition septal hematoma. In this section, we will talk about septal hematoma, how the septal hematoma present, what's the treatment of septal hematoma, how the hematoma that is formed in the septal region can be removed, and what are the complications of septal hematoma. So septal hematoma, so as the name show, hema is for the blood, oma is for the tumor, actually oma is the term used for the tumor or growth or swelling. So this is hematoma is the swelling which is produced as a result of the collection of blood. So hematoma, collection of blood under the perichondrium or periosteum. Peri means around and chondrium is the term used for cartilage. So as I we talked in the previous two sections, there is the nose, nasal has mainly septum, has cartilaginous septum, and then we have the bony part also. So anything that is around the cartilage or around the bone that can lead to the formation of uh, hematoma. So collection of blood under the perichondrium which is around the cartilage or periosteum around the bony part of nasal septum. So this is the collection of the blood here under the perichondrium or periosteum. Once the blood is collected, it causes the swelling of the nose and it has to be, so it mainly causes of any hematoma or blood collection is the trauma uh, of the nose. Now let's talk about the clinical features of uh, septal hematoma. We already talked about what septal hematoma is or what hematoma is actually, uh, which is the collection of blood uh, in case of uh, septal hematoma, collection of blood in the perichondrial uh, or periosteal region. So here, uh, what are the clinical features of uh, septal hematoma? First, uh, as with any swelling or mass or any DNS also, the main feature is uh, obstruction. So all the clinical features which will be associated with uh, septal hematoma will be mainly associated with nasal obstruction. So this is the bilateral nasal obstruction. Uh, it's on the both sides so it will be bilateral not unilateral. Uh, there will be frontal headache and a sense of pressure over the nasal bridge is present because of the swellings and because of the collection of blood. There is pressure also tightening. That pressure is mainly due to tightening. The in the nose, the or in the septal area, it's a, it's a tight area. We don't have too much space to uh, uh, dilate or to expand. As a result of that, any collection in the septal or nasal region because of tightening can cause uh, very bad pressure pain and tenderness that is usually associated with that uh, swelling. So there is a pressure on the nasal bridge as a result of the uh, hematoma. Then we have a smooth rounded swelling of septum in both nasal fossae. When the examination of the nose is performed, we see both sides we have the uh, swelling as a result of uh, presence of the uh, hematoma. Then palpation, if the, the swellings are palpated, usually these are soft uh, swellings and they are fluctuation is there present in the swellings because of the accumulation of the blood. So masses are soft, they are not hard to palpate or to feel and they can be uh, movable and they can fluctuate very easily. 
Now, the complications that can occur as a result of uh, septal uh, hematoma, they are mainly uh, if the hematomas, if they are not properly treated, managed, and if they uh, stay there for a long time, usually with time and pro improper resolution of those hematomas or swelling, they organize into fibrous tissue that leads to permanent and thickening of the septa. Secondary infections, that's the another complication of the hematoma. If secondary infection occurs, there is formation of pus or abscess formation and there are also other complications associated with infections. Then septal abscess with necrosis. Once infection occur or once infection of hematoma supervenes, then also there is necrosis with the formation of abscess. Necrosis is the death of the tissue. And once the death of the tissue occur or it becomes destroyed or damaged, there is a destruction of the cartilage and there is compression of the nasal septum. And with the compression, there is a depression of the uh, nasal dorsum and this can lead to nasal asymmetry or nasal deformities that later on sometimes can be that needs the rhinoplasty surgery or plastic surgeries to fix that problem. So all these are different complications of uh, septal hematoma uh, and uh, if it is, especially if it is not properly uh, managed or removed that can lead to fibrosis or fibrous tissue formation and also these uh, secondary infections can occur leading to abscess formation and necrosis of the tissue. So that was all about the topic septal hematoma, how it presents, what is the management and what are the uh, complications associated with it. Thank you for watching Scardia.com.